going to do this small challenge. That way there is absolutely no room for mistakes. No counting mistakes and no picking the wrong animal mistakes. Let's see if I have 20 rabbits. Here is number one. There is a tiny bunny right there. And here, and here, and here. But this is one. No bunnies in here, just a ton of bears. This rabbit is number two, three, and four. I feel like there are so many poppets in here that I can't even find what I'm looking for. Remember when poppets used to look like this? We've come so far. This is five. In my puzzle drawer, I have number six. Seven is this creepy thing. Why does it have pink eyes? Eight. This is always my least favorite thing to find. Popped water snakes. Let me know if I should cut this open. Nine and ten. This is eleven. <laughs> I can't stop laughing over his teeth. Twelve and thirteen. Fourteen. I was in my noodles trying to find a bunny noodle and I found this. It's a shark. Look, it has a little tail down here. That's hilarious. I definitely need to do an Easter challenge because look at all these adorable little chicks. Here is a cute rabbit for 15. 16, I won't count this duplicate. 17, 18, 19, and 20. I even have this as an extra, just in case. But I vetted all of my bunnies thoroughly, and I'm 99% sure that I didn't make any counting mistakes either. I am confident that I finally did a challenge with no mistakes, so no one can be mad at me in the comments.